Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kirti. So today in this video, we'll be learning about Jal Mahal. So let's get into this video. Jal Mahal. Jal Mahal meaning water palace is a palace in the middle of the Mansagar Lake in Jaipur city, the capital of the state of Rajasthan, India. The palace was originally constructed in 1699. The building and the lake around it were later renovated and enlarged in the 18th century by Maharaja Jai Singh II of Amber. Jalmahal The Jalmahal Palace is an architectural showcase of the Rajput style of architecture common in Rajasthan on a grand scale. On Rajput architecture, the building has a picturesque view of Mansagar Lake but owing to its seclusion from land, is equally the focus of a viewpoint from the Mansagar Dam on the eastern side of the lake. In front of the backdrop of the surrounding Nahagar Tiger Abode Hills, the palace built in red sandstone is a five-storied building of which floor, fourth floor remains underwater when the lake is full and the top floor is exposed one rectangular chhatri on the roof is the Bengal type. The chhatris on the four corners are octagonal. The palace had suffered subsidence in the past and also partial seepage, plaster work and wall damage equivalent to rising damp because of water logging which has have been repaired under a restoration project of the government of Rajasthan. Jalmahil the hills surrounding the lake area towards the northeast of Jaipur have quartzite rock formations with a thin layer of soil cover which is part of the Aravalli Hills range. Rock exposures on the surface in some parts of the project's area have also been used for constructing buildings. From the northeast, the Panak Vrindavan Valley, where a temple complex sits, the hills slope gently towards the lake edge. Within the lake area, the ground area is made up of thin, bat, thick mantle of soil, blown sand and alluvium. Forest denudation, particularly in the hill areas, has caused soil erosion compounded by the wind and water action. As a result, silt built up in the lake incrementally raises the lake bed. On the terrace of the palace, a garden was built with arc passages. At each corner of this palace, semi-octangular towers were built with an elegant cupola. Jalmahal The restoration works of the early 2000s were not satisfactory and an expert in the field of similar architectural restoration works of Rajasthan palaces examined the designs, designs that could disappear the originally existing designs on the walls after removing the recent plaster work. Based on this finding, restoration works were redone with traditional materials for plastering. The plaster consists of partly organic material, a mortar mix of lime, sand and surki mixed with ja jaggery, gugal and methi powder. It was also noticed that there was hardly any water seepage except for a Little dampness on the floors below the water level, but the original garden which existed on the terrace had been lost. Now, a new terrace is being created based on a similar roof garden of the Amar Palace. The building is located near the shoreline of a lake with a maximum depth of 15 feet. As the four stories of the building are built underwater. This means it would be structured on the bottom of the lake. At Gaitor opposite the lake are chhatris and cenotaphs erected over cremation platforms of some of the Kachwa rulers of Jaipur. They were built by Jai Singh too within landscaped gardens. The cenotaphs are in honor of Pratap Singh, Madho Singh too and Jai Singh too among others. Jai Singh too's Cenotaph is made of marble and has impressive intricate carvings. It has dome with 20 carved pillars. Rajasthan Tourism Development Corporation took matters in its hand in the year 2004 
and decided to try and restore the monument to its original glory. They signed an agreement with Jalmahal Resorts, granting it a 99-year lease to develop 100 acres along the Mansagar Lake, in the middle of which Jalmahal stands, and the palace. The 99-year lease was given out to a business tycoon, Navratran Kotari chairman KGK Group, for the past nine years. He has worked on the cleaning of the lake and restoration of the palace. Now, there are many inhabitants of the area and it has created a great job opportunity for the people of Jaipur and Rajasthan. For the future, Navratan plans to build a few hotels around the Jalmahal and make it a very popular tourist destination. Jalmahal, the lake restoration project of the Mansagar Lake with an estimated investment of rupees 1.5 billion, considered one of the largest and unique such pro projects in India, has evolved a plan that has diverse project components. Consequently, there are many project stakeholders and beneficiaries. The project stakeholders are the government of Rajasthan and the subordinate organizations such as Public Work Departments, PWD, Rajasthan Urban Development Authority, RUIDP, the Jaipur Development Authority, G JDA, and the Nodal Agency of the Implementation of All Aspects of the Project, the Department of Tourism, Rajasthan Project Development Fund, RPDF, and the Rajasthan Tourism Development Corporation, RTDC, and an empowered committee on infrastructure development, ECID, the central government organizations associated for planning and financing, and the Ministry of Environment and Forest, MOENF, through, through its National River Conservation Program, NRCP, and ILFS. The private sector de de developer PSD appointed was MSKGK Consortium under the Public Private Sector Partnership and Partnership Model approved by EICD. PDCO has prepared the detailed project report DPR for the restoration of Mansagar Lake, Jalmahal Restoration and Lake Presence Development. The total project area for restoration and development approved by ECID was 432 acres 175 ha comprising the lake with 300 acres 120 ha water speed the lake the lake pretends area of 100 acres 40 ha which subsumed 15 acres 6.1 ha of submerged land for tourism development under joint sector cooperation and 32 acres 13 HA for Lake Promenade and tertiary Treatment Facility and related works. The studies indicated two approaches to tackle the environmental degradation that had occurred in the lake, namely dealing with natural catchment area and co-currently addressing the serious problem of municipal sewerage emerging from large-scale urbanization or human settlement. Keeping this broad planning approach in view under the lake restoration project, the works undertaking involved were the realignment of city drains, desettling of the lake, construction of artery road from Amber to Mansagar Dam, about 2.7 kilometers, 1.7, and my construction of check dam in a 100 nest. 100 meters 330 feet length with silt removed from lake, creation of three nesting lands from for migratory birds lake front promenade in one kilometer, 0.62 mi afforestation and treatment of forest area portion of lake catchment plant plantation to supply the slopes of bank from formation. Afforestation envisage plantation of local plant species such as is Acacia arabica desi, desi babul, and 
Tamarix indica planting close to the water edge where they can grow well. Terminalia arjuna, arjun, popular name and all species of fissus which would provide diversity in vegetation and also better habitat diversity for feeding by birds and wildlife. Salmahi. In addition to the remove eutrophication of lake water and improve its water quality, in situ bio, bio remeditation process with 140 dippers and 5 air compressors to aerate and create an inversion of the lake bed and stored water was also in envisage the city sewage which supplied 7.0 MLD of untreated sewage was treated with sewage treatment plant STP and then led to lake led to the lake to maintain its water level after due removal of nutrients through tertiary treatment. The process involved diversion of Brahmapuri Nala into Nagtalai Nala by a lined channel to its south. This was then led through through a treatment plant on site to generate secondary level effluent which was then discharged effluent from the plant then discharged into an artificial wetland through a hyacinth channel for this purpose a psychochemical treatment plant was also envisaged and Influent from the plant was taken through artificially created wetlands in an area of 4 hectares, 9.9 .9 acres, not only to treat the water but also to serve as natural habitat for birds. And through this process, the entire ecosystem is being regenerated. Vegetation generation like this process is disposed from, from is disposed of in a compost pit near the lake. It also reported that about 500,000 cubic meters of silt was removed from the lake. This silt was then put to use for strengthening of embankment and building of islands as wintering grounds for migratory birds. After the abo-intacial restoration works, of the lake and its feeder system were mostly completed by JDA during 2003. Private, private sector developers were invited to develop and identify tourism components on the land adjoining, adjoining the lake. After following the due process, a joint sector undertaking called the PDCOR was formed between the JDA of the Rajasthan government and the consortia of private developers with the lead provided by MSKGK Enterprises. The project for the tourism development was entrusted to this joint group. The tourism project entitled the development of convention center and art gallery multiplex and entertainment center, craft bazaar, arts and craft village, resort hotels, restaurants and food courts, public park and gardens including responsibility for restoration and maintenance of the Jalmahal. The interior of Jalmahal is not open to visitors. So thank you for watching this video guys. We'll meet you in the next video. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the, hit the bell icon so you will get whatever new videos I keep. And don't forget to comment below what next study like education or uh, videos you need and it's your wish like if you don't understand anything concepts you get doubt or you want to learn more about a topic you can keep down and if you also don't understand in classes you can keep down and any challenges you want me to do for you you can keep it down and even if you want any vlogs also you can keep down in the comment below so once again, please like, share and subscribe to my channel guys. And don't forget to comment below what next education video or vlog you need or challenges you need with me. So please subscribe to my channel. Bye everyone. We'll meet you in the next video. Please like, share and subscribe. Bye.